We got it all together for a brand new show. The LBC crew's here and so away we go. While the LBC crew's running from a spooky ghost, Christophtos is doing what he does the most. Hey, come on, get involved to the mystery is solved. Hang around with the LBC crew. Oh, <laughs> Hey, come on, get involved to the mystery is solved. Hang around with the LBC crew. That's the podcast. LBC crew. Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled mystery episode of the LBC crew show. I'm your host, Pat, DJ Chris Statos. For this episode, we will continue with another case the LBC crew will cover from the book Minute Mysteries by H.A. Ripley. These will be short minute mystery stories presented with an LBC crew twist. At the end of the story, we will take a break to give you, the listeners, a chance to use your detective skills to help the LBC crew solve the mystery. Will you get it right or will you get it wrong? Listen carefully to the clues to help you along. Now let's open up the LBC crew case file called Bloody Murder. A bad mess, this, said Professor Dark Web to Sergeant Death Probe as they viewed the bloody scene. Yeah, I wish these guys wouldn't be quite so thorough when they bump themselves off, replied Sergeant Death Probe as he set grimly to work. A man with his throat cut, the head almost severed, sat slumped over a blood-spattered desk. What a horrible sight. His blood-stained coat flung across the room, the razor, the shirt, the tie, the hands covered with blood, made a ghastly and awesome picture framed by the flickering light of a dying candle. After turning on the lights, Professor Darkweb bent down to take a closer look at the man. His face seems vaguely familiar, Sergeant, but I can't recall at the moment where I've seen him. How long has he been dead, Doctor? About two hours, replied the police surgeon Christados. At this moment, the telephone rang. The caller, upon hearing Professor Darkweb's voice, immediately disconnected. Odd, murmured the professor as he hung up the receiver. I remember now where I saw this man. His name is Weasel Skull. As he glanced around, he observed that the alarm clock on the dresser had stopped just two hours and 15 minutes before. The telephone rang again. Professor Darkweb motioned Sergeant Death Probe to answer. Hello? He said. Mr. Weasel Skull stepped out for a few minutes. Leave your number and I'll have him call you. The man at the other end inquired who was speaking, and when Sergeant Jethro replied, A friend. He hung up. Better trace that call, Sergeant. This is murder, said Professor Darkweb. What? exclaimed Sergeant Death Probe. It still looks like suicide to me. Do you agree with Sergeant Death Probe or Professor Darkweb? Why? Did you hear the clues to help you solve this mystery? We will take a short break to let you review your notes and return with the solution to this mystery. We will be right back. This is an imaginary podcast, which may never have happened. The Short Box Showcase. But then again may have, about a father and daughter. I'm Professor Allen. And I'm Emily. Who came from Ohio and talked about comics. Identity Crisis. Lone Wolf and Cub. Hergé's Tintin. The White Tiger. It tells of their rise to glory, when the great guests were yet to be booked. I didn't know this was going to be the Jimmy Olsen hate podcast. <laughs> it's always the Jimmy Olsen hate podcast. And the great feats of editing, not yet performed. It's Ultraman, this is Ultra 7, this is Ultraman Jack, and this is Ultraman Taro, and this is Ultraman Leo. And this Ultra- of how they spoke at length. When I read a comic, story comes first and art comes second. Continuity is really the brainchild of nitpicking nerds the world over. Those are our people, Emily. And reviewed in brief tales that explore creatively the bounds of a given character's history. Superman has basically the same relationship with Wonder Woman that he has with Batman. Of brilliant creators before their fall from grace. This is the era where Miller 
is at the height of his creative and artistic powers, and the ability of strong writing to encapsulate and transcend its time. Flash of Two Earths by Gardner Fox. This is an imaginary podcast. Aren't they all? Shortbox Showcase is part of the Relatively Geeky family of podcasts. Check us out on the web at relativelygeekypodcast.blogspot.com or search in iTunes for Relatively Geeky or Shortbox Showcase. And remember, we're not experts. We're just family. Welcome back from the break. Were you able to piece the clues together to help the LBC crew solve this mystery? Let's go ahead and find out. Here's the solution. Professor Darkweb knew it was not suicide, because Weasel Skull's coat, which was flung across the room, was bloodstained. Quite impossible if he had taken his own life. Blood, though it sleep a time, yet never dies. Thus spoke Chapman. Or, blood, though it sleep a time, yet never lies. Thus spoke Weasel Skull. And that will put this case to a close. We hope you were able to solve the mystery and had fun along the way with the LBC crew. Before you go, let me tell you where you can find the LBC crew on the internet. You can find the Longbox Crusade on iTunes, Google Play, and most podcatchers, or at www.longboxcrusade.com. We are also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Longbox Crusade. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube. Thanks for listening to this episode of the LBC Crew Show and helping the LBC Crew solve this mystery. Until next time, hashtag LBC Crew! We got it all together for a brand new show. The LBC crew is here and so away we go. While the LBC crew is running from a spooky ghost, Christatos is doing what he does the most. Hey, come on, get involved till the mystery is solved. Hang around with the LBC crew. Oh, <laughs> Hey, come on, get involved to the mystery is solved. Hang around with the LBC crew. That's the podcast. LBC crew.